Hi everyone, this is Ryan from Thrivity. I want to take you through a way that you can format your playbook so that it makes it easier for your sales users to follow the guided selling process as they're going through the quoting process. This uh, tip actually I've learned from Guy over at DealHub, so definitely want to give him credit. I've been operating in DealHub for a long time and I was not aware that you could do this, so hopefully this will be useful to some of you out there as well. So I have uh, my playbook, Fighter Jets USA, you may recall it, pulled up. And let me just show you some of the questions that we have. So we ask how many jets, uh, try to make it conditional, right? So if ask if they actually are sell buying a jet, then at that point, then we will ask them missiles. So we don't crowd the questions until they answer them uh, with the affirmative. And, you know, for example, if they're not buying any maintenance contracts, we'll hide all the information about that. But if they are, then we need to understand, do you want the platinum package? When's the start date? What are the payment terms? Let's say they're gonna do a payment frequency that is custom. And then you can start to see, you know, this is a relatively simple process, but it's, it's hard to find where each piece is as I look back at it. So, uh, you can actually make uh, your questions, uh, you can format them with HTML. And so I've done that in a couple of different ways I'm going to show you. One way is to add headers that are hidden, right? And so I've actually added a couple of headers to the playbook already, and I've, I just have them hidden. So let's find them. I've got the maintenance header. And I will show you how to configure this, but I'm going to change this to be rule based. And basically I've said that if, uh, if they're buying an F 16, then the maintenance header will show up. And then we have the payment header and let me just change that. I think we're going to make that just show up always. And let me show you the process of how to make one of these really quick. So. Let's make one for the equipment. And so we're gonna call this equipment header. I'm actually gonna paste in the HTML from somewhere else. And just in here, you'll see this is a nice um, type size and color because it blends in really well with the playbook. But uh, let's call this equipment. And we're gonna set this up as a text answer, but we'll just set it to read only, okay? And let me grab this and drag it to the top. So let me hit save. Let's go to our playbook, we'll back out, go back in, and we should start to see those section headers show up. All right, so we have equipment. I can see, you know, it's separated from the payment information, so it's really easy at a glance to figure out where everything is. If I increment this up, we see, oh, okay, there's more equipment I have to select. And lo and behold, there's information about the maintenance contract. It's all sectioned off here and so forth. So you can see it makes it much easier. Another thing that you can do, uh, let's say that for the maintenance contract, let's say that we decided these three questions were follow-up questions. So they're related to the top level question. Another way that you can organize your information is, and I'll go ahead and add this information in the video uh, so you can grab it. We can add little indentations. And let me hit save. Refresh the proposal here. And let's go to the maintenance. There you go. So you can see now it's really easy at a glance. Like, oh, I need to go just the maintenance contract for a customer. Well, you just scroll down to maintenance and then you change it to silver. So uh, that's what I had to share today. It's It'll make your users experience so much better. Um, and it's just a, a really quick and easy thing to implement. Even if you have a playbook that's already out there and, and being used, you can slide these changes in and it will only be incremental value. All right, thanks a lot.